France has once again raised the issue of sending Western troops to Ukraine, obviously believing that multi-billion dollar supplies of Western weapons to Kiev are no longer enough. As the German publication Berliner Zeitung writes, French Secretary of State for European Affairs Benjamin Haddad said that his country does not rule out sending ground troops to Ukraine. Haddad recalled the words of the French president who had previously spoken about this, noting that they remain in force. President Macron said we should not rule out anything and that remains true, the official said in an interview with Berliner Zeitung. In addition, Haddad spoke in support of the supply of long-range missiles to Ukraine for strikes deep into Russia. In February of this year, French President Emmanuel Macron did not rule out the possibility of sending troops from Western countries, including France, to Ukraine. At the same time, he added that such a decision could be made, for example, if Russia advances toward Kiev and if the Ukrainian authorities ask for help. Moscow called foreign military personnel in Ukraine to help the Ukrainian armed forces a legitimate target for the Russian armed forces. Let us recall that recently the West has been heatedly discussing Kiev's calls to give it permission to use Western weapons to strike at Russian territories far from the front. For several months, Western countries have been discussing the feasibility of sending their military to Ukraine. However, according to Estonian Prime Minister Kaja Kalas, in an interview with the Financial Times, some countries have already sent their military to Ukrainian territory. Kaja Kalas said this in May. According to Kalas, NATO allies should not fear that sending troops to Ukraine to train its soldiers could draw the alliance into a war with Russia. The Estonian Prime Minister noted that if Russian troops attacked the training personnel, it would not trigger NATO's Article 5 on mutual defense, which states that an attack on one means an attack on all. Kalas said that there are countries that are already training soldiers on the ground, that is, training the Ukrainian army on its territory. According to the Estonian Prime Minister, they do so at their own peril. I cannot imagine that if someone gets hurt there, those who sent their people will say, this is Article 5. Let's bomb Russia. This is not how it works. It doesn't happen automatically. Therefore, these fears are unfounded, she said. In addition, she sees no risk of a direct conflict with Russia if the Allies help Kyiv train Ukrainian soldiers on the territory of Ukraine. Russian propaganda does nothing but talk about a war with NATO, so they don't need a reason to do so. Whatever we do on our part, if they want to attack, they will attack, Kalas said. Recently released drone footage captured by Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade shows destruction in the eastern Ukrainian town of Volodar. Ukrainian forces are under severe pressure in the town, one of a belt of strongholds in the Donetsk region which, along with Luhansk, makes up the partly occupied Donbass. Russian forces are obliterating Volodar with glide bombs, while infantry units advance on the flanks in a bid to encircle the town, according to Andriy Kovalenko, head of Ukraine Center for Combating Disinformation of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine. Фура с автобусом загорелась на трассе прям степная. Света!
А? Припозднился. Да я думаю, сижу в хаве, что думаю, ну, салют, салют, не салют, думаю, взрывается. Ну, ну, салют, ну. На крышу залез, глянул, кумарь привод. Да? Автобус вот стоит лицом. Да я понял. А, да, да. Вон мужики говорят, автобус с большим грузом. Ну, говорит, а вон фура же магнитовская, вон разор такой. Так когда там людей говорят живут. А? В автобусе говорит с людьми. Ну с людьми вон же, что А выходили? Ну вон какие-то. С открытыми переломами там он говорит. Ну так крики, ты слышал, какие были кричали? Я же Да какой я в доме сижу, бах, бах, бах. Я... Мелкий, мелкий думал салют. Во двор, Вы, выскочил во двор говорю, этот. Как крики как начали уже. Выскочил во двор, блин, малой. Нету, нету. Я говорю, зайди. Я что-то вышел, смотрю, кумари, тянь. Офигеть. Жестко.